Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Lesson 277. Let me not bind your son with laws I made. Your son is free, my father. Let me not imagine I have bound him with the laws I made to rule the body. He is not subject to any laws I made by which I try to make the body more secure. I'm going to pause here and say, it's been clarified for us previously that when we try to, when the ego, because the ego is <laughs> being addressed here, because it's the ego who tries to make laws to make the body more secure, rules, um, delusions, and protections. And in trying to defend, the ego is in fact attacking. And it is giving perceptual life to a delusion to a dream that isn't real. But if we believe it's real, we'll act as if it's real and the effects will be felt, whether it came from a truth or not. If we believe something is true and we act on that perceived truth, then the effects of those choices will still be felt. The pain is there, even if the pain was based on a delusion. So a workbook for students is asking us to see the truth because the truth, in fact, will save us. The truth is synonymous with joy, with love. The truth isn't this horrible, scary thing we need to be running from. And we don't have to even go out and search for it. It's right here. When we're willing to let go of the ego's lies. He is not subject to any laws I made by which I tried to make the body more secure. He is not changed by what is changeable. He is not slave to any laws of time. He is as you created him because he knows no law except the law of love. Wow, what a beautiful vision. We're told that we can create a vision so like unto heaven that the tiny little gap that still remains between our thoughts and God's, God himself will close that gap. So these lessons are calling us into that dream of heaven to get so near unto the truth that God himself will close that perceptual gap for us. Let us not worship idols, nor believe in any law idolatry would make to hide the freedom of the Son of God. Wow. That is so powerful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause here and say, wow. I know I say that a lot when I'm reading these lessons, but they are so profound. They are the antidote to the lies and, and the deceptions that the world of man would have us believe. He is not bound except by his beliefs. Yet what he is is far beyond his faith in slavery or freedom. He is free because he is his father's son and he cannot be bound unless God's truth can lie and God can will that he deceive himself. I'm going to repeat this sentence. He is free because he is his father's son. That is your inherent nature. You are already a fully liberated being. But if you are imagining yourself, which as a liberated being, you are allowed to imagine anything you wish. And if you are imagining yourself in chains, then you are perceptually in chains. And then there will be no separation between your personal perception and your personal reality. Even though the greater truth is that you are still sovereign. Let me not bind your son with laws I made. What a prayer. Let me not bind your son with laws I made. The petty laws of ego have no power over the Son of God, unless we believe they do. Unless we imagine the shackles are real.
Your son is free, my father. Let me not imagine I have bound him with the laws I made to rule the body. He is not subject to any laws I made. Let's sit with that today. Let me not bind your son with laws I made. You are so much more powerful than you may be ready to perceive and to realize. But that doesn't change the truth. And when you're ready, you will see it. And that day could be today. Fortunately, he is not slave to any laws of time. So whether that day is today or tomorrow, in truth, you are already right now, right here, whole and complete in the Father's eyes. May it be so in your own. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow for lesson 278.